Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to hop on and say thank you to everybody who has subscribed and is interacting with me, not only here on YouTube, but uh, my followers that have come over from TikTok. I really appreciate it. I wanted to get just a little small video out. Uh, you know, I had bounced back and forth. We were gonna do a video on our how-to of how we did our boxes. But I don't think I'm going to show you a how-to. I'm just going to show you a little bit of an overview of what my husband did while he was building our boxes. Because I want to show everybody that you can do this. You can do this for yourself. You can build these boxes. You can grow your own food. Uh, with the way the world is today, it just shows you that, you know, we need to learn to be a little more self-sufficient for ourselves. And even if that means just growing our own food and stocking up on canned goods and so on and so forth we should do it we should do it now before it gets really really bad because prices are just awful right now so you know my husband he built this design he built every one of these boxes on his own we did build on a hill so he did have to dig in and to get it level but you know all of that really isn't all that necessary find more of a level ground and put your boxes there um, so, you know, he just used some two by four cedar boards and four by four, um, posts and he would cut them down to size to what he was looking for, the sizes he wants. Uh, he used three inch coated deck screws to, um, screw into themselves. And of course you see his measuring tape and his angle measure tape and a circular saw. Those are all the tools that he used. Well, and his drill to drill the screws in. These are the tools he used to build our boxes. Now you don't have to build your own boxes. You don't have to make it look nice. We did that so that, because we were putting these in the front yard, we wanted it to look nice and to not upset our neighbors so that it wasn't an eyesore to the neighborhood. It looked nice, it looked um, professional and um, you know it didn't stand out as something that was an eyesore of the neighborhood. So, you know, I really appreciated that he did this and it looks beautiful. However, they make items that you can get at any hardware store. I, you know, I put a couple screenshots here towards the end of the video of items that you could get at Menards. You can go over to Menards and spend 40 bucks for beds that you go home and you build yourself and you put out there. And you know, you don't have to have um, boxes to do this. You can go ahead and use five gallon buckets. You can use a kiddie pool. You can use a bin. Use whatever you have to, to put um, your seeds or your seedlings or your plants that you purchase into these um, beds and grow your own food. Um, you know, if you, don't, if you really can't afford all that, till up some of your ground. Go ahead, whether it's a hand tiller, if you want to rent something, or you just take whatever tool you have and just till up your ground to plant directly into the ground, do it. Do what you can to grow your own food, to provide some stability. Um, and your own food that you grow is delicious. So I, I really highly recommend, you know, if you if you are even slightly interested in doing it, do it. Stop hesitating and just do it because the end result is so very rewarding. So I'll go ahead and leave you to just watch the rest of this. And I just want to say thank you again to everybody who has already subscribed and um, is interacting. And if you want to see more content like this or more of my canning or um, eventually cleaning, I'm going to get there, guys. I'm busy. Uh, and I know that's no excuse, but I will get there. And um, like and subscribe and follow me going forward. Thanks so much again, guys. Bye-bye.